And we are live. <laughs> so my internet always on streamer. It's always a little bit delayed. So I can't even see the number of people in here right now. But I know Patrick will be able to see. Okay, now I see it. Okay. <laughs> so whoever's in here, um, hi everyone. I'm Kim from Oh My Vintage, and I am excited to have Katie from Vintage and Vinyl on my channel tonight for a joint live sale. Thank you so much, Katie, for joining me on a live sale tonight. Oh, absolutely. I'm so excited, Kim. This is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm honored to be here. <laughs> yeah, so um uh, while we're waiting um, for uh, more people to come in, uh, I <laughs> I just wanted to point out that I don't know if you saw Katie's Instagram story, but uh, well now you see her too. But mm -hmm. she's wearing pink in honor of me. And then when I saw my story, I was laughing. It's so like, oh my god, I'm wearing red in honor for Katie. It's like great whites think alike. <laughs> it is, and Kim, you look fabulous. And that that uh, telephone pen is everything. Yeah, I wore, um, I'll come a little closer, but it, I'm wearing a telephone, vintage telephone brooch and the cord connects and it says, hello. <laughs> I think that is so darling. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we were both thinking um, for each other. So while we're waiting, um, uh, and uh, I know more people are going to come in and trickle in and uh, we'll, uh, I just want to um, uh, let Katie, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and tell me about Barry Channel. Oh, absolutely. Well, I'm Katie from Vintage and Vinyl, if you don't know. And on my YouTube channel, I spend some rockin' records and talk vintage. I've got all kinds of fun content uh, from uh, eating weird jello recipes from the <laughs> 1950s. I share my vinyl collection and all kinds of fun vintage videos every week. I'm in a brooch series right now sharing all of my vintage brooch collection. And I've got a fun uh, 4th of July video coming out this Wednesday for everyone that wants to see some fun vintage 4th of July items. So lots of fun on my channel. And I enjoy being on and doing some of these sales. Yay. So I'm very excited uh, for Katie to be on um, my uh, on our uh, joint live sale tonight on my channel. So while we're waiting for some more people to come in, let's say hi to some people that are already here. And let me try to go back. <laughs> so we have uh, Carrie from KCATX. Uh, I know she said she's going to listen on her way home. <laughs> so <how laughs> Very I good, Carrie. <laughs> uh, drive carefully. And then we have Belinda Carroll. Hi. Hi, Belinda. <laughs> and we have... Christina Side Street Market. She has her. She has us on her big TV. <laughs> Yay, Christine! <laughs> and then we have a, a book. You witched. My book. And four Sandy's lilacs. Hi, oh. Sandy. <laughs> the chat always jumps on. Me. I know it's Streamyard, man. <laughs> yeah. it, it's hard. <laughs> and then we have a uh, Soul Nate. Hi, Nate. Hi, Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, Book Bewitch said Katie Pink is your color. Thank you, Book. It's a lot of fun. I thought, you know, I have to wear something pink. And then I thought I also have to wear something super sparkly in honor of Kim because yeah. I know she likes the pink and the gold and the glitter and the fun. Thank you so much, Katie. And then we have Tammy Renee Walker. And, whoa, there you go, jumping. <laughs> we have uh, Barbara Ambundo and Lucid Curious. Hi, guys. <laughs> Andrea Kane, thank you all so much for coming. And Mary Dugan. Oh, no. Be careful, Mary. Oh, no. Stay safe, Mary. And, uh, oh, Carrie said that brooch, Katie, is fire. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, I have to thank LJ. LJ got this for me in a chat uh, a few weeks ago in another live sale. And I just <laughs> fell in love with it. And LJ was so sweet to gift this to me. So I owe, owe this brooch to LJ. <laughs> and then we have Mary Jo Vakovsky and Sonia M. 
And yeah, so more people will be coming in. Whoops. Hi again, Nate. I accidentally clicked on you. <laughs> okay. Well, so, hi, guys. <laughs> so, um, okay, so it's been a few minutes. We said our hellos. And um, so I'm just gonna, going to go over a few things before we get started. So, um, so please make sure you are in live chat and not top chat. Tonight we are having a joint YouTube live sale. And please keep in mind that I am shipping from New Jersey and Katie, yes, Katie <laughs> is shipping from Florida. So we are not combining uh, packages together. So please keep that, that in mind. Um, so we will be showing a bunch of beautiful vintage thrifted treasures. Uh, we're both going to be taking turns and showing an item and uh, as you can see, um, we have both of our email addresses scrolling across uh, the screen here. So if I show this pen or something, or Katie shows her brooch, <laughs> um, we will be describing it, and then we will be uh, telling you the price, and then we will give an item number. And if you're interested in that item, uh, you type in the item number, and whoever comes first on our end, we will announce who won the item. Uh, and then after you win, uh, after you purchase items from us separately, <laughs> um, please make sure you email me at omvintage at gmail.com. And then you'll email Katie at Katie at Katie's Creations uh, one dot com. <laughs> the number one. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, you will email us your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address. Uh, your PayPal email address, and then the items that you purchased from us. And um, shipping is not included in the price, so please keep that in mind. Also, um, if you are lagging in your internet, please keep making sure that you're refreshing and going in and then coming back out, because sometimes you may think you were first, but uh, you may be lagging. So uh, just keep uh, doing that from time to time. And also keep in mind all the items that we find here are vintage so or thrifted so they may be you know pre-loved and may have some age to it and for the most part we always um tell you if there's normal wear or you know some yeah you know some condition to it or something <laughs> and if you need us to measure anything we can always measure something for you and uh, my husband patrick well he walked away for a second the director <laughs> he's <Hello. laughs> he's here so if you need to um ask a scope question uh just put in capital letters and you'll see um my name in the chat and you can ask him if you um have any questions or need any help so I'm pretty sure I went over everything <laughs> uh, and just want to say hi to everyone who came in here. Thank you all so much. We're very happy to have you. So, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> and um, I'm very excited to have Katie for our joint live sale. And I will let her go first. And let me hopefully do this correctly. <laughs> so we'll both be showing one item and Katie will be going first. So you're up, Katie. All righty, folks. If I put you there. <laughs> oh my God, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm excited to be here, Kim. Thanks so much for having me. Now the first item I have up for you guys tonight is really cute. And I have to ask you a question. How much is that doggy in the window? I've got these adorable little salt and pepper shaker fellas. Aren't they so cute? They are little doggies. They've got their blue bow and their adorable little puppy dog eyes. Now you got the two holes on this one and the three holes on this one. So I think this one's the salt and the bigger holes are the pepper. They are marked Japan on the bottom. The only thing with these that is an issue is they are missing their corks. But that is an easy fix. You can go to Amazon and buy new corks or go to your local Home Depot and they do sell corks. So that is not an issue. But I think a lot of people are using these as display pieces. So these would just be adorable in your little kitchen vignette on a tiered tray. They are so cute. No chip, no cracks. There is a little bit of crazing, as you can see, due to age. But of course, I love my crazing, so I don't find that much of an issue. They are just darling little fellas and they want to come all the way home to you. So if you would like these little doggies, you can have the doggy salt and pepper shakers for only $10. $10 by giving me number 52. 
$10, number 52 for the adorable little doggies. They're so cute. <laughs> okay. All right. And then, um, also, okay, I see Belinda Carroll. All right, Belinda, thank you so much. I'll write you down for that. <laughs> okay. All right. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so I have a, a cute little uh, ceramic white baby seal from Global West Journal. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. Okay. All right. Director walked away. <laughs> but as I'm showing, uh, there's no chips or cracks, and it's from... Uh, Global West Germany. All right. And he's so cute. Love his uh, or her cute little face. And uh, it's in excellent condition. There's no crazing or uh, chips or cracks. And uh, this is uh, $10 and it is number 14. $10, number 14 for the cute little ceramic white baby seal. Oh, he is adorable. <laughs> I'm looking at the chat here to see who I see for that. <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> I know. It's like, oh, little baby seal. All right. So I'll switch back to you, Katie. All right. And thank you, guys. I'm glad you like the cards. I think they're kind of fun. So the next item I have is a really cool piece of advertising. And I know a lot of people collect vintage makeup and vanity items. And I thought this was really fun. This is a Heather Rouge 10 daytime rouge. It's got the really gorgeous flowers with the little blue bows. It's like a, a red and mm -hmm. light blue. Now this is from the 1950s. There is a tin that's a little bit different than this from the 40s, but this is the design that was came out in the 50s. It is from the Whitehall Pharmaceutical Company. And look at the mm -hmm. graphics, you guys. This is just amazing. Now, of course, there's a little bit of wear down here due to age, but it's in really, really good shape for being as old as it is. And what's pretty cool about this tin is when you open it, it does still have the rouge inside. Now, I don't recommend using this. I think it's a little old, but <laughs> it's still got its powder puff and its rouge. Powder puff does have, you know, some wear to it, but you're not really using the, the powder or the rouge in here. You're just really using this for a display. But this would be great in a vintage vanity, in a bathroom, in a really cool vignette or uh, different little things that you do with this. I just think the 10 is so cool and so neat. You don't find a lot of these. So for the 1950s Heather Rouge, you can have it for only $10. $10 by giving me number 63. $10, number 63 for the Heather Rouge 10. I just love that, Katie. I love the graphics on it. The graphics are just really fun. Okay. All right. And I see uh, Belinda Carroll for the seal. She got okay. number 14 there, Kim. All right. Thank you, Belinda. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, Stephanie and everyone else that came in and Chad. <laughs> uh, my next item is... Okay. Sorry, hold on one second. Oh, I have like stuff over here. Just give me one moment. I moved stuff around earlier. <laughs> so the next item I have is a very cute apron. And just give me one second. Sorry. And I it is a um this very cute um black like multicolored a uh, cherry floral uh apron and i'll bring a close-up of it i'm not exactly sure if those are peaches or apples the the bigger fruit there but it's so cute it has this little small pocket over here and it has a green uh, rickrack trim and there's a ruffled edge so i know some people you know, besides using it as an apron, also use it um, 
like in front of their like kitchen window and just uh, tie it almost like a, uh, what is it called? A valance, I believe. Um, and it's just so cute and I love it. If you like cherries or fruits and florals, whatever you want. <laughs> so this is um, $15 and it is number 12. It's $15, number 12. And just keep in mind, it is uh, a little bit faded uh, on the uh, black fabric, but it's very cute. So $15, number 12. I love that apron, Kevin. I kind of think maybe they're peaches. I don't right? know. Yeah, I think it's peaches because it has like that, like how it's yellow and somewhat red. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I vote. <laughs> All right, I'll switch back to you. All right, so the next item I have is just a cute little figurine for you. And it's a Japan figurine. And this guy is so <laughs> darling. Look at his little face. He's only three and a half inches tall, so he would be great, again, for a tiered tray or something that you need a little bit of height, but he's also pretty short, so he'll fit in anywhere. Now, he's carrying bread and I think what appears to be milk. It's a very odd combination of things this guy's carrying, but he is so cute. He's got no chips or cracks to him. The cold paint is in great shape. He is marked Japan on the bottom, so he's probably around 1950 or so. Look at his sweet little face. I just think he's darling. He's got his little socks and his red shoes and his little overalls. I think they're overalls. He looks very Dutch to me. And then it looks like he's got a feather in his hat and he's got a little polka dot cap on. So he is just so fun and just wonderful. The bread's kind of got a, a lustery design to it. And I think he's just darling. So you can have this little figurine for only $7. $7 for the little Dutch boy. Guy giving me number 60. $7, number 60 for the adorable Dutch boy figurine. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> All right. Switch back. Katie, everyone's saying you look so great in pink. I agree. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. I have a set of uh, eight postcards. So I'll show you each one. And uh, you saw it probably in my sneak peek video. So the first one is this birthday greetings um, card with like purple flowers. And here's the back. I'm not sure what that says. It says from Mrs. Go Ahead. I don't know, <laughs> I think that's what it says. <laughs> and then the second postcard that you'll get is this one. And it is, um, uh, printed in England, and it's Anne Hathaway's Cottage uh, in Stratford-upon-Avon. Uh, Very pretty. That's the back of that one. And then the third card you will get, oops, is upside down. And it's <laughs> it says a happy birthday and has purple flowers. And guess who it's for? Miss Katie, I did not plan that either. <laughs> <laughs> That's so perfect, Kim. <laughs> and then the fourth card you will get is this one. And uh, this is the Wadsworth Longfellow House in Portland, Maine. And I just thought this was very cool because you could see all of like the wonderful collections in this home. And it's just a blank postcard in the back as well. And then another a uh, purple floral birthday card that I have is this one and it says uh, birthday greetings uh, and then it's also for Miss Katie again. <laughs> <laughs> so perfect. <laughs> and, uh, and then I have this one it says uh, Philadelphia in stamps um, and this is a little bit newer but I just thought the graphic on it was really cool to have. And then the last card you will get is uh, this birthday card. And it says, uh, best wishes for a happy birthday and has pur pink bows and uh, purple flowers. And uh, yeah, you can guess who it's for. <laughs> it's for Miss Katie. 
<laughs> so yeah, that's for I that's so funny how I got all of these cards and didn't even like look at the name and it's so funny that it's all Katie's name. <laughs> so you'll get all eight of these cards for um sixteen dollars number five. So sixteen dollars for eight cards and number five. Those are great, Kim, and it definitely would be perfect to frame, as Stephanie's pointing out. I think yeah. they're gorgeous. <laughs> I see Belinda Carroll. Thank you, Belinda. And hi, Pat Bird Finds and Judy. Thank you all. Hi, for everybody coming in. <laughs> and I'll switch back to Katie. All right. Now, I've got a pretty cool piece up next from the 1950s. Now, this is not the easiest thing to find in good condition, so I was very excited to find another one of these. Yes, I have another Dolly Does It. Now, these are disc sponges, and there is a Danny Does It that's in blue, and uh, he's got silver hair. Dolly has the gold hair, which is the sponge inside, and you can still use the sponge, I guess, if you wanted to. I, I probably wouldn't. I think this is more of a display piece, but it's a really fantastic piece of 1950s advertising. Now, there are 1940s versions of these. This one does not have the good housekeeping seal of approval, so it is not from the 40s, but this is an authentic one from the 1950s. They have been uh, reproducing these on eBay. There was a gentleman that has been remaking these, but this is the true original because of the way the font is, and on the back, it's got the metal dish cloth and this wording here that the other one on eBay does not, the more modern reproduction. So this is a true original from the 50s. It is a golden dolly does it, metal dish cloth, clean scours and polishes, china, glassware, aluminum stoves, refrigerators, and linoleum. And then it says safe and sanitary and will not injure hands. But look at the graphics on this, you guys. I mean, she is just fabulous. I love her. She's great. And it's made by the Springfield Wire and Tinsel Company at a Springfield, Massachusetts. Just absolutely fantastic. This does not have a zip code, so it's definitely before 1963. And this is just such a cool display piece for your kitchen, for a little vignette, tiered tray, just awesome advertising, and you don't find these very often with the boxes in such good shape. I mean, there's still a little bit of, of wear to the box here, but usually you'll find them where the tops come off or the bottom's all messed up or the cellophane's missing, and the cellophane is great here. So this is a really, really cool piece. So you can have the Dolly Does It disc sponge for only $15. $15 for Dolly by giving me number 58. $15, number 58, for Dolly Does It. <laughs> Did you see what Stephanie said? She said, she said, Dolly Does It sounds saucy. <laughs> <laughs> it does a little bit. Dolly does sound a little saucy. We can do many jobs beyond the kitchen, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, whoops. <laughs> Okay, the next item I have is this cute little purple floral um, and gold gilded porcelain footed uh, trinket box. And it's made in Japan uh, with the lid. And uh, of course, it's a tiny thing. So I'm going to show you the lid first. Okay, hold on one second. Oh my goodness, sorry. <laughs> All right, well, yes. <laughs> if you saw my sneak peek video, it's, this is very tiny and it has like, there you go. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, director. <laughs> so I have these purple and blue painted flowers. Uh, there is some minor wear to the paint due to age but it's still in good condition and then this is the bottom to it and it has a gold gilding around the little uh, footed uh, trinket box and then you could put like your rings or earrings uh what have you whatever you want to put in here and it's just so cute there's some minor wear on the gold on the the legs 
um, but it's still in good condition. It's very pretty, and it says uh, Japan on the bottom. And uh, if you'd like this, this is um, $12, and it is number 18. $12, number 18, for the cute uh, three-footed uh, little trinket box. That is just gorgeous, Kim. <laughs> you it's always the tiny things that i have trouble with <laughs> yeah sometimes cameras just don't want to focus and there's no way around it <laughs> oh my niece is here hi ally hi ally <laughs> okay switching back to katie all right i've got a cute little girl for you next isn't she just darling this is a little uh, japan figurine now she has her little violin and she's got a little scarf tied around her head with a polka dot little dress she's got spaghetti detailing which appears to be in very good shape maybe a little bit of the gold's wearing off but that's just fantastic and look at her little sweet face, isn't she darling? And then she's got her little polka dot uh, bonnet to match her little polka dot dress. Now she does have a loop here and I was trying to figure this out. I didn't notice the loop until after I got home with her. And I thought to myself, you know, maybe she would have had some spaghetti poodles or something with her, but it's kind of odd, right? That she's <laughs> playing a violin and that she would be walking a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the loop is, but my thought with the loop is that just adds another cool opportunity to do something really neat with her. So you could tie a ribbon through here and make a little ribbon around her skirt. You could, you could hang her, you know, like an ornament if you wanted to, or you could make your own little chained animals if you want. So I'm not exactly sure what the loop was for because it doesn't make a lot of sense that she would be, like I said, walking dogs or skunks or cats or whatever. <laughs> but she is ready to come home to you. She's fabulous. She's fun. She does not have her Japan sticker anymore, but you can see the remnants there on the bottom. There are no chips or cracks to her, maybe just a little bit of crazing around her nose but all of her fingers are there. The edges of her scarf are good. The spaghetti's all intact. And she is just so darling. Now, this little figurine is about five inches tall, so it's a nice size. And she is just so fabulous in her pink. So for the little girl, you can have her for only $12. $12 by giving me number 57. $12, number 57 for the adorable little Japan violin girl. <laughs> if she's walking her dog and playing her violin, she's very talented. <laughs> she, is. she should be in the circus and have a whole act. <laughs> Maybe go to Vegas. She could be a little showgirl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> her name is Lola. <laughs> <laughs> she plays the violin. <laughs> okay, so the next item I have. I believe this is Fenton, but you can correct me, Katie, because I know you, you know a lot of glass. So I have this uh, opalescent moonstone hobnail glass. It's a two-handled uh, candy bowl a trinket dish. And here are the double handles. I, I believe it's Fenton. I mean, I don't, it doesn't have the sticker, but that's what I found when I was trying to do my research for it. It does um, look like Fenton. Are the hobnails really pointy? Uh, hmm. Yeah, like they're not as round. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow! Look at you. See. I think I think that's Fenton because Fenton hobnails are typically pointier than other hobnails. Yeah. So it's so pretty. You could use this as like a a catch all. Uh, a dish for your keys or you know for your jewelry next to your sink if you're washing your hands or just next to your bed or whatever or even put like you know little uh candies in here whatever you want and um there's no chips no cracks you can see my face <laughs> and um this is a uh, 14 dollars and it is number 16 14 dollars number 16. Okay. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. 
and Auntie K and Linda and everyone just popping in. Okay, and I'll switch back to you, Katie. Oh, that is fun. I really like that button hop mail. The next item I have is pretty remarkable because this is from 1919, and it is a beautiful piece of antique sheet music. I absolutely love this piece. This is the Great Zigfield, and it's a pretty girl. It's like a melody, and look at her. Is she not stunning? Since we are on the topic of showgirls, she definitely is a fabulous <laughs> showgirl. This is Irving Berlin Music Company. This does have the copyright date on the inside. It's in Roman numerals, but I already converted it for you. So that is 1919. And this is just fabulous. Now, there is a little bit of wear to the top. I do want to point that out. I mean, this is old. It's been around the block. And someone has written their name here. But I think that adds to its character. And this is something that would be amazing framed. And then on the back, it's got all of the songs by Irving Berlin from 1907 to 1939, an advertisement on the back, a partial list. Now, this is four by 12. So it is four inches wide and 12 inches long if you're looking for a frame. And then on the inside, it's got all of the music here. Now there is a little wear, like I said, to the paper, but if you're going to frame this or junk journal with it, uh, definitely if you're going to junk journal with it, don't tell me. <laughs> but if you're going to frame it, it would be fabulous and it doesn't really matter if it's coming apart, but it does have all of its um, music on the inside. There's so many possibilities with these sheet musics. And I think this is just absolutely gorgeous. So for the great Zigfield sheet music from 1919, it's only $7, $7 by giving me number 69. $7, number 69 for the antique sheet music. I just love the graphics on that. Oh, they are really fabulous, aren't they? I mean, look at that. Yeah. Just I also have some sheet amazing. music uh, as well. <laughs> All right, I see Book Bewitched. Awesome book, I'll write you down. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, I have a, a flower brooch, because you know what? I, I wouldn't have a live sale with Katie without showing some brooches. <laughs> so I have this beautiful gold tone uh, Monet flower brooch, and it's in excellent condition. And I got it in focus the first try, you guys. <laughs> and it has the um, the Monet signage in the back, and it's in excellent condition. It's very beautiful, and uh, this is a uh, twenty-three dollars, and it is number one. Twenty-three dollars, number one for the beautiful of. Uh, Monet flower brooch. I'm not sure if that's a sunflower. It could be a daisy, um, but it could be whatever flower you want. <laughs> so it's $23, number one. That is a beautiful, beautiful brooch. And Monet is such great quality. Yeah, it never, I've collected it um, with my mom, and she's like, this never, you know, uh, what do you call it? It doesn't rust or anything. Tarnish. Yeah, tarnish. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, the next thing that I have up for you guys tonight is an art glass piece of fruit. And this is pretty fabulous. Now, I was trying to decide if this was a squash or a pear. And Kim and I decided before the sale that we think that this is a pear. And I think it is, too. This is really, really pretty, and it's in great condition. It's a yellow pear. It's five inches tall, and you can see where they've applied this beautiful stem here. There's a little bit of a uh, indent here where they've used scissors when they were pulling it to make it to snip it off. So that is just part of the manufacturing. It does have the polished pontal on the bottom. And it is just a beautiful art glass pair. This would be great in a dish. It's so summery and pretty. And I know a lot of people collect the uh, art glass fruit. So this would be a great addition to your collection in the yellow with that beautiful green applied top. 
So for the pair, you can have it for only $14, $14 for the art glass pair by giving me number 53, $14, number 53 for the fabulous art glass pair. It's a fabulous pair, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, Kim. And people are voting for pair. So yes, yeah. I think I think pair is it. And I see Belinda <laughs> got your brooch. Oh yeah, thank you, Belinda. Okay. All right. I have a um, this cute bunny rabbit, <laughs> and it's a, a global a West Germany dark brown bunny rabbit figurine, and there's no chips or cracks, and it's so cute. <laughs> Um, and then has the, I believe it's global because um, I had something else that's global and it has the same signage on the bottom as well. And uh, the, this is in excellent condition and this is uh, $12 and it is number 20. $12, number 20 for the cute bunny rabbit. <laughs> That bunny is just darling. Look at his little face. Oh, I love bunnies. <laughs> okay. I'll switch back to you. All right, folks. It is time to bring back the brooch. So the next <laughs> item I have is a fabulous brooch. This is a gold tone brooch with a faux pearl. And let me get it here so you guys can see this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this brooch here. Have you ever seen something so pretty? It's got the faux pearl in the middle and then this gold tone filigree going around the outside. Now, the only issue with this brooch is it does have a tiny, tiny bit of wear to that pearl in the center, but you don't really notice it too much. Otherwise, the clasp is in great working condition. It is a uh, C clasp, I believe is what the style of that is. And then you've got the beautiful brooch there with all of that gorgeous detail. And I think this would be really fabulous on a black jacket. Great evening brooch. Really a statement piece. And this gold tone brooch can be yours for only $8. $8 for this guy by giving me number 55. 55 $8 for the gold tone faux pearl brooch. I love that, Katie. <laughs> It's so beautiful. It um, really is. <laughs> sparkles and shines. <laughs> okay. Also, hi, Gino Spines. Patrick's excited. You're here. Hi, Gino. <laughs> um, okay. So I bought these two items in honor of Katie because I know she loves great advertisements like me as well. So you'll get a set of two of them. So I'm going to show you the first one. So this one I thought was amazing. And it says Colgate for Christmas. I know Christmas is not here yet, but it will be later on. <laughs> and I just want to show you a close-up of it. That's on. There you go. And I just wow. the graphics on this was awesome. And even though it has a Christmas wreath like over here, I just love all of the all of the products that they have in this photo. And I thought you could frame this for like your bathroom or something, and that would look really great. Um, and what does it say, Pat, on the bottom? The deeper charm. What is that? The, the deeper charm of beauty, beauty linked with, with usefulness. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, just look at how the um, the graphics on all of their products is just so beautiful. Yeah, the logo is very different. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I just thought it was really cool. And there, just keep in mind, there is some minor rips from the side, but I just thought if you didn't want the bottom part, you could always cut this part and just frame it where the Colgate's part is. You know, <laughs> and then on the back it says "locked out on Christmas Eve," um, and I just thought that was cool as well. So that was the back of that, 
And then while I have this in focus, let me go to this one. You'll also get, I thought these will be great frame or junk journaling, but don't tell me when you use it for junk journaling. <laughs> you like how these are good. It says, keep your hands lovely by protecting them this way all day long. And it's for, um, it says ivory flakes. So I guess when you're washing dish, just dishes or something, uh, it says a gesture may live longer in the memory than words. <laughs> so it's for soap. Uh, but I thought that'd be great too if you want to frame that. And the back of this is for a literary digest. So if you like my floral gallery wall, you could start your own and uh, frame this beautiful uh, bouquet of flowers. <laughs> you, could, uh, you could find those uh, double-sided glass frames so you could switch them. One, uh, you know, one from the other, if you want. To. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll get both of these advertisements. Um, you could use however you want, junk journaling or framing them. And this is uh, $12, uh, number 10. $12, number 10, for the set of these two advertisements. Man, oh man, Kim. Those are just absolutely incredible. Why aren't they? I just I wish they would make advertisements like this, but uh, today. But you know, it's different. <laughs> oh, me too. I think our uh, advertising really pales in comparison to what they had back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to you, Katie. All right. Well, up next, I have a beautiful little Fenton basket. Kim had a gorgeous Fenton piece, and I've got this little Fenton basket. Now, this Fenton basket uh, would have had a sticker on it at some point, so this is probably pre-1970s. You can also see that they have fire polished the mold seams, which I believe was done prior to the 70s as well. It has the applied glass handle, which is absolutely gorgeous with that twist detail. It's got the crimped or ruffled edge. It's in this wonderful green color. Now, sadly, I wish that this guy glows, but you can see, alas, he does not. But that does not mean that he's any less fabulous. He is just still stunning. This would be great on a little vanity on your bedside table. See, you can put your rings in here. It's just great for little tiny things like that. It's a great basket. It's got the pinwheel design pressed into the side. It's just really, really pretty. And it's a nice size because it's not one of the large Fenton baskets that take up a lot of room. So if you live in a small space like I do, this is great. It's a nice little tiny basket for small things that you don't want to lose or just really beautiful with a lace um, crocheted piece underneath on a vanity. You could put your lipstick in here, which is also another great thing that you could do with this. Many options with a little basket like this. And for the Fenton Green Glass Basket, it is only $10. $10 for the Fenton Green Glass Basket by giving me number 62. 62, $10 for the Fenton Basket. I just love the color on that. So beautiful. Me too. It's very mint and fun. <laughs> yeah, very Coca-Cola bottle color. I agree, Maria. Yeah. Okay. Hello again. So, yeah, I found a lot of stuff in uh, honor of Katie. So, I know she loves red a lot. So, besides me wearing red, I uh, brought a red and white a polka dot scarf. And, you know, I always sell scarves in my... Um, live sales and I found some more so it's very beautiful and this is um 30 and 38 and a half inches long and it's five and a half inches wide so you could obviously wear this you know if you're wearing it uh like in your ponytail like so you could tie it over here like in an updo or you can tie it on your hair like so <laughs> or around your neck and um like so <laughs> or tie it here um but i also love uh wrapping it uh in a bow uh on a handbag as well as a cute little accessory like you're wearing oh sorry <laughs> <There's> <laughs> and um July. yeah it's fireworks um 
you could use like a white handbag or like a neutral like straw bag and like tie this in a bow. It'd be very cute. However you want. Do whatever your heart desires. So uh, for this cute red and white polka dot scarf, it's in excellent condition. And um, this is a $15 number three. $15 number three for the red and white polka dot scarf. Okay. That is so cute, Kim. <laughs> it's like I had to get something red. <laughs> and that really reminds me of the you can do it or we can do it lady from the war. Uh, oh, yeah. And you could have uh, some fun rockabilly style with, I think, that. <laughs> All right. Christina Taylor. Oh, Katie, I, uh, Christina Taylor got your basket, number 62. And I see you, Christina, also for the Dolly Does It. So I've got you for the Fenton Basket and the Dolly Does It. Thanks so much, Kim and Christina. That is a wonderful piece. Now, I wouldn't be vintage in vinyl if I didn't sell some vinyl in a sale. So tonight I've got something really fun for you. I've been doing these vinyl mystery lots, and I just think that they are awesome. So tonight I'm going to put together a custom vinyl mystery box for you. You're not going to know what's in there, but here's what I can tell you is you are going to get 10 45s and they all are going to be cleaned by my record cleaner and I'm going to put them in brand new sleeves. They are all VG plus to mint minus shape. So they all will play beautifully. VG plus might have a little crackle in the back, but nothing too bad. Won't have too many clicks and pops and it's just going to be a great lot. So you can have the whole vinyl mystery lot tonight for one price. You get 10 45s. I will be cleaning them, putting them in new sleeves. You don't know what music you're going to get, but I think it's a lot of fun and definitely something neat. If you have a record player you're looking to add to your collection, you're going to get a lot of fun vinyl. And I'll tell you, I did pick up some really cool things I think you guys are going to like for this mystery lot. So for the mystery vinyl lot, you can have it for only $14. That's a steal for $10.45. Uh, That's a great price. So $14 for the vinyl mystery lot by giving me number 66 $14, number 66 for the vinyl mystery lot. Nice. I see Christine at Side Street Market. Fantastic, Christine. And I see Nebby Powell wanting number three. Yeah. Thank you, Nebby right. Powell. Christine, I gotcha. Uh, Nebby Powell. Uh, you're new to me, I believe, so please make sure you email me your information at omvintage at gmail.com. So I'll write you down for the scarf. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. And hi, everyone coming in. Hi, D. I I saw Vinny. Hi, Vinny. And everyone else coming in. Thank you for coming. So I have... I think it's, I've never really found one, so I'm very excited that I finally found like a deer figurine because I never find them. <laughs> and uh, I found this cute, whoops, this cute a uh, ceramic art studio. Uh, I guess you could say she's a fawn or a deer <laughs> figurine, uh, and it's in excellent condition and really looks like Bambi from the Bambi movie. There you go. Uh, and there's no chips or cracks. Very cute. Look at her little tail. <laughs> and just reminds me of Bambi. Very cute. Okay. And this is um, $10. It's in excellent condition. $10. And it is number 19. $10, number 19, for the cute little deer figurine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he just darling. I know. It even has, like, eyebrows and lashes. It looks like he has liner, too. <laughs> I mean, that deer is ready to go to a party in the forest. <laughs> right? <laughs> She's ready. I see Barbara Umbundo. Thank you, Barbara. Congrats, Barbara. That's a fun piece. Okay, and I'll switch back to you, Katie. 
Well, since Kim just had a deer, I think I'll keep us on the deer train. And I have a deer for you tonight. It is a wonderful little deer planter. And I just think this deer is so darling. I think that he's a uh, fawn because he's got his little spots, little baby deer. It's got a beautiful green color on the bottom. And then you've got this really neat wooded texture here that I just think is just gorgeous. And it's really well painted and detailed. Now on the bottom, it's marked Japan. The only issue with this planter is something I didn't notice till I got home. And unfortunately, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny little chip right there in the back. I don't like to carry things with damage. However, uh, I didn't notice until I got home. And I really think when you're displaying this, you're not going to see that backside. And especially if you wanted to put some other greenery around this, you won't even notice. But just be aware that it is there. Now, this planter is five and a half inches long and four inches tall. And look at that little deer. Isn't he darling? Oh, I just love his face. And then you've got the beautiful brown glaze, the green glaze on the bottom, and this lime green glaze going up through here. So for the Japan deer planter, that is in excellent shape other than the tiny, tiny, tiny little dinky doinker on the back, as many people would say in our community, <laughs> you can have the deer for only $12 due to the little damage there. Only $12 by giving me number 59. 59, $12 for the deer. That's the deer party that the other deer is <laughs> going to. <laughs> That's right. They're all going to the deer convention in the forest <laughs> to have some yummy salt lick. <laughs> All right, I see Barbara Mumbundo. Congratulations, Barbara. That deer is going to be great in your collection. <laughs> All right. Hi, everyone that's coming in. Hi, Cindy J and Sue Golombeski. And if I missed anyone, hi. <laughs> um, so I have a set of three floral prints. And um, if you love my... Uh, floral gallery wall you can I made like a little starter kit if you want to start your own gallery wall so I'll show you the first one that you'll get so this one has like these beautiful like pink like light pink and yellow tulips and it has I guess you could say it's like a it's not um like a, a black background it's like a very faded black I guess and then there's just like a scarf here. It's very beautiful. So you can frame this or junk journal if you don't want to do a gallery wall. And there's a close up of it. And I believe it says it's a uh, printed, yeah, printed in the USA. So you could start a gallery wall and it could start like this. <laughs> and then the second one that you'll get this one, um, just keep in mind it has some tears, but if you want to crop it uh, and frame it. It's so beautiful. And um, what did I write here? Uh, this is, it says copyright 1893 by J.F. In Ingalls. I think that's how you say it. But it's from a home and art magazine. But look at the flowers. Isn't it so beautiful? So I think those are um, tulips and some other types of flowers in a nice pretty glass with water, glass space with water. There are minor rips, so you know, if you wanna crop it this way and crop this side or just cover it with a mat or something, that'd be beautiful. And this is just the back, there is some age to it as well. And then the third one you get, this one is already matted. So I'm starting, you can start a gallery wall now. So this has some age to it as well on the sides. I mean, you don't have to use this mat if you don't want to, but I just thought it was so beautiful, like a still life uh, print of um, some tulips as well. So you'll get uh, this one and the second one, this photo as well, and this third one. So you could do whatever you want with it. And then uh, yes, I do ship to Canada. <laughs> and um, 
This for the set of these three floral prints, it's eighteen dollars number seven. Eighteen dollars number seven for the set of three. You'll get three floral prints. Okay. Those are gorgeous, Kim. How mm -hmm. beautiful and a great starter kit. I like these vintage starter kits. I think they're fun. And uh, I see that Barbara Ambundo would like to gift Belinda Carroll the deer. So fantastic, Barbara. That's so sweet. Oh, thank you, Barbara. So are you letting Belinda have it? I'm assuming yes. <laughs> and I believe this is my deer. Is that correct? Barbara, I think so. Uh, so, Barbara, you're gifting that to Belinda. Oh, All she's right. gifting your your yeah. dear, Katie? It's my dear. Is that okay. right? I'll yeah. just double check in the chat there. I'd please okay. confirm that. But that is so sweet. I love when you guys do that. It just makes my day. <laughs> and the next item I have is a really, really cool piece of advertising, another vanity item. And I just think these vanity items are great because you can do so much with them. This is... Unquint, I think is how you say it, Monique. And it is for year-round skin loveliness. And this is a cobalt blue jar. And it's got really gorgeous graphics on the top. Love the little butterflies and the flowers. Very kind of deco design. This does have a two-digit zip code. This is uh, from late 40s, early 50s, because two-digit zip codes were used for large cities then, like LA and New York. Uh, the five-digit zip code did not come in to be until around 1963, so this definitely has some age to it. What's neat about this is on the bottom, it is marked with an M, which means Maryland glass would have made this glass jar. There's a tiny bit of wear to the top on the metal, but that kind of is that fun, rusty, crusty cottage look that we all love. And then when you open it, the lid's in really nice condition for its age. And of course, it's pretty clean on the inside. And I'll clean that up a little bit more before it gets to you. Now, this would be a great item for cotton balls, something small that you need to store in your bathroom. I just think this is fabulous. You can even wash it out. And I've seen people put their own vintage pomade in it or a skin cream. I mean, you can add your own things to this jar because it's in such great shape and the lid does work. So this is fabulous. Now on the bottom here, it does say a rich compound of the finest ingredients to supplement natural oils and moisture of the skin, help soften, beautify, and lubricate. Use as an overnight cream or as a daytime lubricant. Apply sparingly over face, eye, and throat area. Massage unnecessary. Will disappear in 15 to 20 minutes. An excellent powder base for the soft, dewy look. And it's made in the USA by Quality Products. Now, this would have sold for $3.50 back in the day, which must have been pretty expensive then. So I think that this is just fabulous. So for the 1940s, Maryland Glass Ernique Monique Jar, you can have it for only $12.00. $12 for this jar by giving me number 70. $12, number 70 for the 1940s jar. And there aren't a lot of these out there, guys. <laughs> All right. I just love the font of that. Yeah, me too. It is really pretty fabulous. <laughs> All right. Hi to everyone coming in. Hello. <laughs> so the next item I have you probably saw in my um, sneak peek video, or if you follow me Instagram, you saw it there. So I have this uh, Anchor Hawking Hobnail White Milk Glass Flower Vase. And it has like this beautiful ruffled edge. And it's just so beautiful. I love that uh, when I found this, I've never, usually I don't see the original sticker, but it has the original, it says Milk White uh, Anchor uh, anchor Glass. Yes. <laughs> um, usually I don't find it with the original sticker, so I thought that was cool as well. So as you can see, it's as big as my head. So <laughs> you could put, uh, you know, like long stem roses or whatever flowers or whatever, you know, floral arrangement you want to put in here. Um, there is a minor um, mark right there, 
as well as over here and there. But you can't really see it. And I did wash this and, you know, scrubbed it as much as I could. So <laughs> you can't really see it unless you really stare at it. But it's very beautiful. And I love that you could use this, you know, all year round and use whatever type of uh, arrangement in it. And there's no chips or cracks. And it's in excellent condition. Um, uh, in good condition um, with the three little tiny marks. But you won't just turn around. You won't see. <laughs> so this is um, $25. And it is number two. $25, number two, for the Milk Glass Anchor Hawking Hobnail Base. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't see them with the stickers very often, so that is a really cool piece, Kim. Yeah. Usually, uh, I was surprised when I found it. So I love when people still keep the original stickers on items. <laughs> Me too. And I do see Kim... Uh, D, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of you, Kim. Oh. <laughs> D at Thrill the Thrift got my last item. Thank you so much, D. Okay. All right. Now the next item I have for you is another fabulous piece of sheet music. And this is just absolutely amazing. This is from 1933, and it is in great shape for its age. The only issue is it's got a little bit of wear up here, but this is something that definitely would be amazing framed. Now, this is the same size as my last piece of sheet music. It is, uh, I believe, did I say yes? It is uh, 9 by 12, so this is a very easy thing to frame, and it's just got some great graphics. So this is the last roundup, Get Along, Little Doggy, Get Along by Bill Hill, and it's from the Zigfield Follies. You've got the horse there with the cowboy hat and then the moon. And then you've got down here, what I find really interesting is the National Rifle Association's got their little logo down here, the NRA. And then you've got other really, really neat graphics on the bottom. So this is made by music publishers out of New York on 51st Street. And then on the back, you've got five wonderful Follies for the home. So there's other advertisements on the back. So you can frame either side, which I think is really cool. This is for the Jim Dance Folio Company. And there's that really cool deco look on the back. And then when you open it up on the inside, it's got all of the music and, of course, the copyright date on the bottom, which I did do the math for you on, which is 1933. All of the music is in great shape. I like down here on the bottom, it says 88 grand old songs. Now, this is not coming loose from the booklet. This was actually sold loose. It's just the insert page. 88 grand old songs, really cool graphics. Look at that, 50 cents postpaid, voice and piano. And then you've got the music on the back. It's got a little yellowing due to age. And then back here on these graphics, you've got the really, really cool uh, saxophones that I just think is awesome. So this would be great framed in your music room on a wall. It just makes for a fabulous, fabulous graphic. And I didn't notice, I'm just noticing this now. See this right here? There's actually little cowboys kind of sketched into this design, which is awesome. And I do think that someone wrote their name on there. I'm, I'm assuming that this probably came from a music teacher's uh, library. They wrote the name on the music so that they wouldn't get lost. So for this last roundup, 1933 sheet music, you can have it for only $7, $7 by giving me $68. $7.68 for the fabulous piece of 1933 Zigfield Folly sheet music. Just amazing. I love the sketches of the cowboy on there. Me too. I just think that is cool. All right. Okay. Hi, Beth, and everyone coming in. <laughs> so uh, I have, so Katie showed a pair earlier, and I have a green apple. <laughs> so um, you probably saw this in my uh, sneak peek um, preview video. And this is from a Carrie, uh, Gra I can't talk, Carrie Crafted Glass. <laughs> and it's a green 
Um, it has like a green swirl in the middle of the apple. And I just thought it was cool because it kind of looks like, like a green like tornado inside of the apple. And it has the original sticker on the back and there's no chips or cracks. And it's just so beautiful. It's a beautiful uh, art glass uh, green apple piece. And uh, it's in excellent condition. And um, it is uh, $20 and it is number 13. $20, number 13. Kind of reminds me of the apple in the Snow White. <laughs> yes, it does. All right. And I see Michelle Lee. Thank you, Michelle. Yay, Michelle. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> okay, <laughs> folks. Now, uh, we had a beautiful piece of milk glass earlier. So I'm going to follow that up with some milk glass salt and pepper shakers. And these guys are so cute. They're coming from my own personal collection. I've had these for a while. And I'm ready to pass them on to a new home. These are the grape design that's on these salt and pepper shakers. These are made by Imperial. So it's the Imperial grape design, grape and leaf. You can see the Imperial mark on the bottom. These are absolutely gorgeous and they're in perfect condition. Uh, let's see if I can get something in the back so you can really see that grape detail. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I love grapes and I like how short and squatty these guys are. They're just kind of fun on your table. So there's a pair of them in absolutely great condition with the grape design. They are imperial. This one does not have its imperial mark, but obviously they go together. I bought them together as a set. They've got their holes up at the top. This one is for pepper. So it's got its, its multiple holes for the pepper. And uh, the chrome is in very good shape. There's no wear that I can see to the chrome. Really fantastic. And then this, again, is the salt with no issues that I can see. That's just a, a little bit of dust there that I will clean off before they come to you. So you can have these fabulous, fabulous Imperial Milk Glass Salt and Pepper Shakers from my own personal collection for only $12. $12 for the Imperial Milk Glass Salt and Pepper Shakers. And they are number 15, $12 number 51 for the Imperial Salt Glass Pepper Shakers. I love those, Katie. And 51. I said 15. I got to get it together over here. <laughs> All right. Shake it like a salt shaker. <laughs> um, so the next item I have is another brooch. And um, it is this cute let's get this to focus hold on one second all right uh direct tool one moment please before <laughs> it's always the smaller items hold on oh boy okay while it's trying to focus and take its sweet time you can kind of see it from back here there you go so it is a gold tone there. Yay! <laughs> it's a gold tone rhinestone um, Avon a solid perfume flower bouquet in a basket locket brooch. That was a lot to say. <laughs> and what's really cool about this is that it opens. So that's where it had its original solid perfume there. Um, but Obviously, it's empty, so you could put, you know, whatever picture you want in here or whatever you want, and it's so cute. Uh, I just love it, and it has, like, these tiny little sparkly uh, rhinestones scattered throughout the flower bouquet, and uh, it's in good condition. Here's the back of it. It's just my tag that I'm holding on, and uh, this is a $25 and it is number nine, $25, number nine for the cute locket brooch. Very pretty. That is gorgeous, Kim. <laughs> He's saying you could use it for pills. Yeah, use it for pills, Dee. <laughs> oh, absolutely. All right. Secret stash. Yeah, or secret stash, whatever you want. <laughs> 
I won't tell. <laughs> All right. You can even put some jelly beans in there so you can have a little, <laughs> little snack, you know. You're at some place that you're not supposed to be eating, but you pull out your little brooch and you got the jelly beans there. That would be fun. The next item I have is a really neat piece of advertising. I just love these little old advertising tins. Like they're kind of like chocolate for me. You can't just have one, you gotta have many. And this is electro silicon polishing powder, clean silver butter. So I was thinking of Nate when I picked this up. Now, look at this girl. I think the graphics are everything on this. She's got her silver pitcher, and she's polishing it up, and she just is fabulous. Now, this is a cardboard tin. It's got the metal lid and the metal bottom, and this is in really, really good shape for its age and for the fact that it is cardboard, because a lot of these cardboard tins just don't survive. Now, this is the one from the 1940s. So this definitely has some age to it and has no zip code on the bottom. So this is definitely pre-1953, 63, I mean. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. Now for gold, silver, glass, and enamelware, and this does still have some powder in it. Of course, I don't think that I would use that now. It's just a really fun little display piece. Great in a vignette because you can set something on top of it, have something next to it and add some nice height. Now this tin is only about three and a half inches tall. So it's it's not too large. It's a really great size. And it says electro silicon polishing powder is guaranteed free from any injurious substances. <laughs> but I don't know now, you know, we, we probably would wonder about that nowadays. But this is just a cool piece of advertising, great sunny yellow and red. And you can have the 1940s electro silicon polishing powder for only $12. $12 by giving me number 64. $12, number 64 for this fabulous advertising piece. Just love the old advertisements. So wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, you probably saw this in my sneak peek video. And I have, I'll show you the cat first. And it is a, a white ceramic art studio white cat sitting shelf figurine. So I just wanted to show you the cat first before I, you know, pop it on top of a book. But look at the eyes. She got them lashes for days. And she got blue eyes that she just want to stare into like the ocean. <laughs> and she has her paw up. She's like, yeah. So um, there's no chips or cracks. Very cute. And then she even has the ceramic art studio signage on the bottom. And what's cool is that you could put her on your shelf or your mantle or even on a book like so. And she just sits like that like, hey, I'm going to a cat party with my tail hanging over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she's very cute. <laughs> Thanks, Christy. She said, I need a merch that says lashes for days. <laughs> and um, and uh, her little nose and mouth is light pink. So she's very cute. She's ready to party. And um, this is in excellent condition. It is uh, $15. And it is number 17. $15, uh, number 17. Such a pretty white little kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I see Cindy J. You'll have her, Cindy J. She has lashes for days. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely need to put that on a shirt, Kim. I know. <laughs> Back to you, Katie. Okay, so the next item I have does have a little bit of a tragic story. Now, let me tell you its story. I was pretty excited when I found this little guy. I couldn't believe it. He's just so beautiful. And then about five minutes before I was logging on for the sale, my ring light comes crashing down and I hear cuff plunk. And unfortunately, this little guy was the only one that took the damage. So yes, his head did get decapitated and his arm. So unfortunately, I have some quick drying glue and I did put him back together, 
but he is making his way to the sale, but at a very discounted price because he has those damages. But I do hope that you will love him still. I don't usually carry things with damage, but unfortunately this guy had an accident too close to the sale. Now he, he is missing, you know, where his head was. It's glued back on, but he does have some glue. I, I did my best on the head. Now his hand, where his hand got kind of chopped off there, <laughs> Uh, I'm laughing about it now. It wasn't funny then. <laughs> the hand is glued back on. And I have to say, I think I did a really pretty good job on the hand because I don't know that you can really tell that it was broken off. So it's just the head where there's a little bit of a break. I was lucky that it did break very clean. But this guy is fabulous. He's a Japan piece, missing his sticker. But he's got the tea kettle, which I just think is gorgeous. I, the gold is in fantastic shape on him. I love his uh, hat here. I don't know what style of hat you would call that, but it's a traditional Japanese style, I believe. And he is just so pretty. He's got a little bit of crazing on the bottom. Gold shoes. So again, he's ready to party with the deer and the bunny and all the other little fellas that we've had tonight. And uh, he definitely wants to come home to you. So if you will give him some love, he's only $4, $4 for this little Japan guy. And he is number 56. And he is five and a half inches tall. $4, number 56. You did a good job gluing, Katie. I didn't even notice the hand. <laughs> yeah, the hand, I was I was really proud of my little hand job. I think I did a good job. His, his head was a little rough, but uh, he's still pretty fabulous. All right. I see D, uh, the thrill of the thrift. Oh, thanks, D, for giving him some love. He needs a good home, and he is really cool. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you probably saw this in my uh, sneak peek preview video <laughs> and if you want to do a gallery wall or like junk journaling um i have a set of two floral art pieces and the first one i will show you is this one and well done <laughs> and this one has like white flowers and if you look closely there are some whoops little piece of paper okay disregard that <laughs> so it looks like someone uh, painted these beautiful white flowers and looks like they were still continuing to draw and sketch them so i just really like that because it just shows you know they didn't really finish it but i just thought that was really cool and if you want you can continue it <laughs> um, and uh, finish the painting yourself. But I just thought it was really pretty if you want to frame this as well. And, you know, there's some wear on the back, but you could frame this and then you could frame it like so in the gallery wall. And then the second one you will get is this uh, purple floral, purple floral um, art uh, piece as well. There is a minor rip here, uh, here and over here, but you know, if you mat it down or just uh, crop that part out, it would really look nice. Um, yes, I believe it's a print of Book Village. I'll show you a closer look. And uh, if you look closely, there's also some bows as well. So this one is a print and then, whoops, <laughs> this one is a print, and then the other one is definitely a uh, painting. I'll show you closer so you can see it. It's definitely a uh, painted and a uh, sketched, but they're very beautiful. So they're just as big as my head. If you want the actual measurements, you can let me know. And uh, so this one's a print, and then this one is a uh, sketched with a painting. So for the set of both of these, it is. Uh, $20, so it's $10 each, so $20, uh, and number six, $20, number six for this set of these two for if you want to start a gallery wall. Okay. Whoops. I love the floral prints, and I, I love the idea of having a gallery wall with them like you do, Kim. Oh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> Back to you. 
Okay, so I am bringing back the brooch with another fabulous, fabulous brooch. And this is in honor of Kim tonight. Mm -hmm. This is a owl brooch. And this little guy is enameled. So he has his little Jimmy eyes. He's got the gold uh, bottom here and then the brown and cream colored enamel. He is just absolutely gorgeous. He's a nice weight and it's a good size brooch. This guy is about uh, two inches long. So he's definitely a big, nice size. It's going to stand out on your shirt and look really fabulous. And the cool thing about him is even though he's not marked, he has a spot where you can put a necklace so you can wear him as a necklace or as a brooch. So he does kind of double duty. Now his enameling is really good on the front and on the top, there's a little bit of a crease there. And I do believe that's how the enameling was made. I don't think it was done after the brooch was manufactured. He does have his little clear rhinestone eyes and just so fun. Don't you just love these wise old owls? I do. They're really great. So for the Bing, bring back the brooch pen, you can have the enameled owl for only $8. $8 by giving me number 54. $8, number 54 for the owl brooch. Just love that owl brooch, especially since you can make into a necklace, Katie. He is. He's so versatile. I mean, you can really do so much with him. <laughs> okay, I see Carrie. Casey. Yay! Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> That's Carrie. And, and I'm excited because I know Carrie loves her owls so much, as many of you do in the community as well. <laughs> All right. Okay, and thank you, uh, Michelle Lee. You are getting those set of two floral art pieces. I have you down for that, so thank you so much. Uh, and uh, I also have a set of two uh, piano sheet, uh, two piano music sheets. <laughs> um, so I was very surprised that when I saw Katie had that as well, and. Um, we're both thinking the same way. So I also have a set of them. So I'm going to show you uh, the first one that you'll get. And this one is so cool. I just love her. It says, the circus princess. Now look at her. It says, dear eyes that haunt me. But look at her. She's all dressed up with the pearls on her arms and her fabulous cape and her gown she's ready <laughs> and um here's the back of the piano sheet it says uh countess maritza oh i'm saying that correctly and in uh there is some age to this as well and this is a uh, copyright 1926 so the first song inside says dear eyes that haunt me so I thought this would be great. It's, it is it uh, is orange and gray. I thought it'd be great if you frame it. If you're going to junk journal it, uh, please don't tell me. <laughs> but uh, if you do, I know you'll do fabulous things with it. I just love the graphic. So I, the piano sheet is in here as well. And then there's another song uh, inside. Let me not rip this this gingerly <laughs> and it says Ad Adela I believe and it says a sparkling uh rhythmic Mexican serenade so this is very cool you'll get this piano music sheet with this fabulous lady yes Maria you could use this in Halloween decor as well like it's great for fall she's just gorgeous and then I love this one because Katie loves uh, the color red and uh, this one says, come on over. Ooh. And isn't this <laughs> <you> fabulous? <laughs> um, it says, uh, words by Tommy Maley, I think, and music by Jack Little. And um, this is from, what did you say, Pat? 1923. 20, uh, MCM XXIV. Oh, 24. 24, 1924. And I just love her. Isn't she so fabulous? The 20s. Yeah. The roaring 20s. She's a fabulous 20s girl in her red dress. And she's ready to party. And this is not Christina Aguilera's come on over. This is. 
was from the 20s. So, um, and More then, rude. <laughs> yeah. And then the in the back, it says the latest song hit, Jealous. And that's not Nick Jonas, Jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought this would be great framed as well. Aren't they these two fabulous ladies? So you have Come On Over uh, piano music sheet. And then you also get uh, Try This on Your Piano uh, all, along, all Alone With You in a Little Rendezvous. Ooh. Saucy. And it rhymes. <laughs> so, um, uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, Skunky Junk is asking, is it red or orange? Well, well this one is red. She's red, and then the other one is orange and gray. So you'll get both of them. So this one's red, and she's orange. So you'll get both of these fabulous ladies, the piano music sheets. Um, so this would be beautiful framed, and uh, it is uh, $20, so it's $10 each, so $20. Uh, number 15 for the set of these two piano music sheets. That is just amazing, <laughs> Kim. Oh, I just love the graphics <laughs> on these things. Right? I was like, I love it. And it's not ripped or anything. I mean, there is some age to it, but it makes it even adds more character. <laughs> yes, definitely does. I like my ephemera to have a little bit of character and age to it. <laughs> All right. Back to you, baby. Okay, so the next item I have is a really, really beautiful picture. This is seven inches tall. And what this picture is, is it is marked Roseville on the bottom. Now, this is not the traditional Roseville that we think of. This is Roseville Rand's Bottom Pottery. Now, Roseville Rand's Bottom Pottery was made from 1900 to 2005. And this is hand-painted. It has the signature on the side. And this is a piece that was probably made in the late 80s, early 90s. It's got the grapes. And it's just a gorgeous piece. I love that shiny black glaze. And then you've got the brown banding around the outside and the hand-painted leaves. It is absolutely stunning. And it's got feet on the bottom, these little felt feet to protect your counter. It is marked Roseville. There's its mark there. Very clean on the inside. And uh, there's a little texture. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but there's a little texture that they've put on the black glaze. So it really is really unique. And this would be great in the summer. You can put your lemonade in this. You can put flow flowers in this. Uh, great in the center of your table with some sunflowers coming out of it, I think would just be stunning. And I love the color of the glaze, that cream, that black, that brown. It's just really fantastic. So for this Ransville Rose Bottom pitcher, you can have it only for $5, $5 by giving me number 67. I am keeping account of the fact that this probably does weigh about a pound. So I am shipping from Florida. Do keep that in mind, but this will offset the cost of the shipping. So only $5, number 67 for this fabulous picture. Such a great price, Katie. And I love the different colors on the picture. Me too, and I have a thing for grapes, if you guys haven't figured that out by now. <laughs> okay. All right. So I have a um, pink and gold lamb. <laughs> and she has a rhinestone eyes. Hold on one second. There you go. She has some rhinestone eyes, and she has a little bell. And I just need a little um, help from the director for a second. So you can see this little lamb figurine. And I uh, can't really see right now. She's trying to focus. There she is. All right. So she has these rhinestone eyes. I believe it, when I looked closer, it looked like she had a little touch up on her nose and her mouth. But they blended it really well. So you can't really tell. But she has, uh, uh, she has a gold bow, and she has a little bell that actually rings. And it has uh, a little rhinestone on her bell as well to match her little sparkly eyes. And there's a little flower, and she's on a little uh, patch of grass there. 
And uh, besides the little paint touch-up, there's uh, no chips or cracks besides that. Um, and she's just very cute, ready for the day. <laughs> so uh, this is $15, and it is number eight. $15, number eight, for the cute little sparkly-eyed uh, a uh, lamb with the gold bell. Oh, I'll look at her little pink self. Don't you just want to give her a hug? I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to you, Katie. Okay. So I have to sell a little bit of my merch while we're here on the sale because I've got more of my vintage and vinyl stickers. Now I've sold these before, but I've got more. Now today I have three available, but there are more available. So if you do decide after the sale that you'd like another one, always email me and I can get that in the mail to you. These will have free postage because all I have to do is throw them in an envelope so that you're getting a really great bargain. And if you want a piece of vintage and vinyl, you can have it with a fabulous sticker. Now, my best friend Frank designed my logo, and he did such a great job. He really uh, encapsulated my record player just awesomely. This is a really good quality sticker. I get all of my stickers from Sticker Mule, so this is high quality. It's not going to uh, wash off. If you want to put this on your Yeti, I've had mine on my Yeti or my uh, different tumblers. I've had one on my car, on my uh, laptop, and it just hasn't worn off. It's a great quality sticker, and it's fun to have uh, something with vintage and vinyl on it. So for the sticker, you can have... Uh, three of them. So the first three people to claim, they're $5 each, and you can have a vintage and vinyl sticker by giving me number 70. $5, number 70 for a vintage and vinyl sticker. And I do have more uh, if you guys would want to email me about that. Just love your stickers. I love the how the logo looks just like you, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, he did such a good job. He really uh, encapsulated me very well, I think. And he even got the little tiny car that I have in my record player cabinet. I was just so amazed. <laughs> it's all in the details. <laughs> all right. So I have Gina Marie for um, number eight for the lamb. So thank you so much. Going to a good home. All right. So the next item I have is another a scarf that actually matched the red and white polka dot one but I have a white and red polka dot in honor of Katie since she loves red. So it's the same one and it is also um, 38 and a half inches long and it is five inches wide. And it's very cute if you wanna, you know, um, put it in your hair like so. Look, it goes with my outfit right now. <laughs> or you could wear it as a ponytail, like a, side ponytail over here or like a high ponytail you know you get the idea <laughs> yeah or around your neck it's very pretty and you can also put this on uh your handbag as well and tie it into a bow i just love uh tying scarves onto a handbag and making it more chic and, you know uh, accessorizing it with some color so this very beautiful uh, white and red scarf is uh, in excellent condition, no stains or anything, no rips, and it is uh, $15, number 11. $15, number 11 for the pretty white and red polka dot scarf. Okay. That is beautiful, Kim. And I, I love the idea of tying scarves on a vintage bag. How cool would that look on a vintage suitcase? Yeah, that would look awesome. That's such a great idea, too. All right. Now back to you. Okay, so the last piece I have for the evening tonight is a wonderful piece of advertising. <coughs> and I just love this little guy. It's a tiny, tiny little needle container. And I've never seen these in the wooden style. So I think they're great. This guy is about two and a half inches tall. And he's got some great graphics on him. So this is for the Boy Needle Company. And it's got the embossing. If I can get that the right way. There we go. Boy Brand Needles, Buy New Shuttle, 
if machine skips, stitches, or breaks, thread the Boy Needle Company Chicago. And then what you get on the inside is you actually get the needles. Now, I think these probably would have gone in a machine because they're flat. So you see these ends are flat. They're not your typical sewing needles, but I think these went to a machine. And then on the top, you have number 12, which I think, or 21, which I think is the gauge of these needles. And this is just such a cool little piece. Vinny always talks about junk jar items. This would be one of those things that would be great for your junk jar, great in a little printer's tray, just fun in a vignette if you like sewing. And you could take the needles out of these that aren't for a regular sewing uh, vignette or a little sewing kit and put your own needles in here. So you could actually store your sewing needles in here if you like. This is an excellent condition and it's a fabulous, unusual piece of advertising. And you can have the boys brand needle wooden holder for only $5. $5 by giving me number 65. $5, number 65 for the little needle holder. That's so cool. I love like miniatures in like a printer tray, like on the wall. It's so cool. I do too. I just think they're great. And I've got you, Barbara Ambundo. Thank you so much for that. Okay. All right. And then I also have a set of two handkerchiefs that you probably saw in my sneak peek uh, preview video. And the first one you'll get is this white and mint green uh, crochet trim a handkerchief. It's very cute. Here's the back of it. You can use this for uh, vignettes uh, or however you want. I also like using um, uh, handkerchiefs, like if you want to use it in a like as a garland on a um, like piece of string and just hang them over, it's very pretty. And then the other one you will get is this one. It's a mint green, uh, multicolored uh, embroidered floral handkerchief. And there's some minor wear in the back, just down there. But it's so cute if you just. Um, Fold it over like so. So you can use it however you want and then even use these two together for a pretty vignette, however you want. So this is for the set of these two handkerchiefs. It is at $9 and it is number four. $9 number four for the pretty mint green and floral embroidered handkerchief. Those are such a pretty color, Kim. I just love those. I know. I just love how much detail they put in these handkerchiefs back then. <laughs> so much work. And I see, I wouldn't have the patience for that kind of thing. I know. <laughs> Do you have um, one more item, Katie? Or you're... I don't. Did I miss count? <laughs> oh, no, no. I know you went first. So I'm just making sure. So... Um, have both of us there so we're just going to uh go over uh, so, uh some items that uh didn't sell uh for people who were coming in late so we're just going to show we show those items and i'll let katie go first okay fantastic you want me to show them all in sequ sequential order or do you want me to uh, show one and then you go how would you like to do it kim um, you show uh you can show two uh okay. two items and then we'll keep track we'll see if someone gets in then you can show the next one so forth okay fantastic all right so the first item that i have for you in case you missed it is a beautiful art glass pair this has the beautiful applied top. Look at the detail, the way they've done that. I think it's really lovely. It's got some bubbles in the glass. It is just gorgeous. It's got the polished pond till on the bottom, and it's got this top where they have applied it. And you can see where they've snipped it with the scissors as they were pulling it when they made this piece. This is great in a fruit basket. I know these um, glass fruits are kind of fun. So for this art glass pair, you can have him for $14 by giving me number 53, 53, 40, $53, $14. There we go for the art glass pair. So I think that's really fun. And then I also have this fabulous little lady. She is ready to party. 
She is so fun. She is what I'm calling the violin girl. Now, she does have a little loop here, and I think that probably she would have had some chained animals at one point, but she's pretty talented because she is playing the violin and walking animals at the same time. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I think this is a great opportunity to tie a ribbon around her skirt, do something really fun with this loop. So I do think she had some sort of animals at one time. She's got the spaghetti detailing on the bottom, really adorable polka dotted skirt, uh, skirt. Skort? I don't know. She's wearing something with polka dots. And then the polka dot little uh, tie on the top. Just love her. She's in great condition. She is Japan, but missing her little Japan sticker, but I'm very certain she's Japan. And she is just fabulous. So for the little violin girl that has so many possibilities, she is $12. $12 by giving me number 57. $12, number 57. Awesome, Katie. All right. Okay, so I have this uh, black multicolored uh, cherry print, and we've decided that these are also peaches. <laughs> and it's a very cute apron, and it has a little uh, pocket with some green rick rack uh, trim along the edge. And it has some ruffle details, and it'd be cute if you use it um, not just as an apron, but also um, like as a valance on your kitchen window if you like cherries and have a cherry or peach theme or whatever theme that's similar to this. <laughs> and uh, this apron is a fifteen dollars number twelve, fifteen dollars number twelve for the apron. And then the other item I have is a um, purple floral and gold gilded little uh, trinket box. Uh, it's a porcelain footed uh, trinket box made in Japan. You could put your ring or earrings in here uh, or whatever you want uh, next to the sink. And it's not focusing because it's so tiny, but I just wanted to show you um the cover you probably saw it in my sneak preview and there's just somewhere on the some of the legs as well on the gold but this is um uh this is i lost my place sorry this is oh did i put the wrong number oh no i didn't sorry <laughs> this is a uh, 12 dollars and it is number 18. $12, number 18th for the cute Japan porcelain uh, footed trinket box. Okay. Skunky Junk says you could, your hearing aid. Oh, your <laughs> hearing aid. Yeah, you can put your hearing aid as well. <laughs> Whatever you want. Back Absolutely. In. Or a little ring, something fun in there. I, I like those little trinket boxes. <laughs> now, I do have a little Japan guy for you. He's a little Dutch boy. Now, I was looking at him just a few minutes ago, and I thought to myself, well, maybe he's one of the uh, men frozen Charlottes, but I, I'm not sure. But he is a nice little Japan figurine. He is holding bread and what appears to be a milk jug. So what's kind of funny about him is I don't know why <laughs> they decided to put bread and milk the way that he's carrying it. just seems like an odd combination, but he is a little cutie. He is just in great shape. Great detail. He's only three and a half inches tall. Perfect for your little tiered trays, vignettes. He's got a polka dotted hat. He is ready. He's, he's bringing the bread and the milk to the deer party. So he's a lot of fun. Great detail on him. Sweet little face. And he is only $7, number 60. $7, number 60 for the adorable little uh, Dutch boy. And then I also have a wonderful Rouge 10. I just think the graphics on this are to die for. This is from 1950, and it is the Heather Daytime Rouge with the little flowers and the light blue bow. I just think this is so great. <coughs> Excuse me. And when you open it up, you do have Rouge inside. Now, I wouldn't use this, but you, you do have the Rouge, which is kind of a neat piece of history. The 10 is an overall great shape. For its age, it's made by the Whitehall Pharmaceutical Company. 
great detailing, nice little tiny tent, only about an inch in diameter. And for the Rouge tent, you can have it for $10, $10 number 63, $10 number 63 for the daytime Rouge. Another great little thing on a tiered tray or in a bathroom. Love the Rouge. Yes, those are two. <laughs> All right. And I see Gina Marie for 63. Thank you, Gina Marie. I got you down for that. Okay, so I have this uh, Fenton uh, Opalescent Moonstone Hobnail Glass. It's a two-handled uh, candy bowl dish. So you could use this as a catch-all uh, dish for your keys or even put your business cards on here if you want or candy or jewelry, whatever you want, uh, even next to the sink, or as Skunky Junk said for the porcelain little dish that I had, you put your glass eye, <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> um, or whatever you want, uh, whatever your heart desires. And this is um, 14, there's no chips or cracks, and this is $14, number 16, $14, number 16. And then I have uh, this cute uh, Gobel Germany little uh, dark brown bunny rabbit. So cute. Looks like it's munching on something or snacking on something. <laughs> it's so adorable. And uh, there's no chips or cracks. And it also has a signage as well on the bottom. And uh, this is uh, $12, number 20. $12, number 20, for the cute uh, Gobel uh, bunny rabbit. All right, and back to you, Katie. That bunny is just adorable, and he would be great for Easter, I think. He's just <laughs> fabulous. Now, I do have another cool piece of advertising. I see Sean in the chat, Skunky Junk, saying he loves his tiered trays, and this is something I think would be great on a tiered tray or just if you have a collection of tens. This is electrosilicon polishing powder, clean silver better. Look at the graphics on this, you guys. It's in that great yellow color with the uh, navy blue lettering and the, the red there. It's just a, such a good combination of graphics. And it does still have some powder in it uh, that's kind of stuck to the bottom. I don't know if you can hear that. But it does have a little wear on the back. But, I mean, this got some age to it. This is from the 1940s. So it's amazing that this is in such great shape for its age. And you just don't see a ton of these anymore in such great condition. Usually the cardboard's all torn off or, you know, it's like crushed and dented. So this is really fantastic. So for this really cool piece of advertising that you can put in a vignette or tiered tray is $12, $12 by giving me number 64. $12, number 64 for the silver polishing powder. Just such cool advertising, guys. You can't beat that with a stick. Now, the next thing that I have is a gold tone faux pearl brooch. This is absolutely beautiful. We got to bring back the brooch, folks. <laughs> it's got this gorgeous filigree. Now, I'm not exactly sure how old this piece is. Uh, it's got a faux pearl in the middle. Now, there is a tiny bit of wear. Can you see that where the faux pearl is in the center? And it's got a really good working clasp. I believe that's a C clasp on the back. Very nice size pen. It measures to be about two inches, give or take. And again, on a jacket, on a black shirt, this would just be really fun. You can even pin this to a jean jacket with multiple other pens, and you can have just such a fun style. So this gold tone faux pearl brooch is only $8, and it's number 55. $8, number 55 for the faux pearl brooch. I love that brooch. Bring back the brooch, people. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. And thank you, Cindy J, for getting the cute bunny rabbits. Going to a good home. So I have a set of two advertisements. Um, and it says Colgate's for Christmas. And I just love the graphics of the Colgate's. Um, all of the bottles and tins 
And I thought this would be great if you want to frame this in your bathroom or, you know, near your vanity area, what, what have you. Uh, just keep in mind there's some uh, some torn pieces here on the edge. So you can use this junk journaling or whatever you want. And then there's also a locked out on Christmas Eve <laughs> advertisement in the back as well. So you can use how use this however you want. And then the other advertisement that you will get is uh, this one. It says, keep your hands lovely by protecting them this way all day long. And look at her. She's serious about her hands. <laughs> um, and uh, this is for uh, ivory flake soap. So it says, it's kind to everything it touches. And then the other side is the Literary Digest. So if you like my floral gallery wall, you can also start your own. And I frame this as well. So of the year. Of the year. It says uh, 1928. Um, and it's so pretty. So you can do whatever you want with these two uh, advertisements. And you'll get these both for um, $12, number 10. $12, number 10 for these two advertisements. And then the other item I have is a set of three floral prints. Um, if you like to, I did like a little starter kit if you wanted to start your own floral art, floral uh, gallery wall like me. <laughs> so the first one you'll get are these light pink and yellow flowers. Oh, there's like um, faded black background so this is a print and it said made in the usa and then the second one you'll have um this one is from 1893 from a home and art magazine and it's a little more delicate as you can see there is some torn edges but if you cut you know the edges and just frame that part that would look very lovely or you can use it in junk journaling as well so there is some age to it and uh oh awesome jody <laughs> yeah so there's some age to it as you can see and then the last one you'll get is this one and it's already matted it does have some age to it on the edge but i just love the still life of this uh of the tulips in the the vase with the water so you can change out the mat if you want and just put your own frame like how I have it. So you'll get the set of these three beautiful flower uh, prints for uh, $18. $18 for the set of three for number seven. So $18 for number seven. So basically $6 each. <laughs> All right, back to you, Katie. Okay, well, I'm going to go along with the ephemera theme. I do have another piece of sheet music still available. This is the last roundup. This is from the Zinfield's Follies. This is dated 1933 on the inside. And look at the art deco graphics on the back. Can you believe this? I can't. This is just absolutely amazing. You've got the saxophone graphics there. With the look at the Art Deco guys, this is just amazing, amazing, amazing. And then you've got the front with these really cool cowboys. You can see how they're kind of like pencil sketched in. And then you've got the cowboy riding the horse, Zigfield's Follies. And what's kind of interesting on the bottom here is it does have a mark for the NRA, the National Rifle Association. And then you have uh, your music publishers out of 51st Street in New York. And this has some great graphics on the inside with the sheet music. Um, of course, you guys can junk journal with this, but don't tell me as Kim says, because this stuff is so fabulous, I think it needs to be framed. Now, I did measure this, and this would be great in a gallery wall. So this is 9 by 12. So I think this would be a pretty easy thing to frame. And this is from 1933, and you can have it for only $7.00. $7 by giving me $68. $7.68 for the fabulous Zigfield Folly Last Roundup Sheet Music. And I do have one more thing available, folks. I have an Imperial Milk Glass a set of salt and pepper shakers. 
Now, these guys are coming out of my own personal collection. They are the grape and vine uh, design there. Love, love, love how short and squatty these fellas are. They're really fun on the summer table with a plaid uh, kind of checkerboard picnic uh, tablecloth. I think that would be fun. And this is about four inches tall. So they're little tiny guys, and they're not too heavy, so they'll be easy to ship. The chrome is in great shape on the top. These have graced my table many a time. I'm just passing them on because I got some other salt and pepper shakers I think are really cool. And this has the imperial mark on the bottom. This one does not. No, this one's got the imperial mark on the bottom. This guy does not. But they are imperial and they are pretty fabulous. So you can have these milk glass salt and pepper shakers for only $12 by giving me number 51. $12, number 51 for the milk glass salt and pepper shakers. And that's all I have for you guys, folks, tonight. Okay. All right. So uh, on with uh, the milk glass theme, I have this uh, anchor hawking uh, hobnail white milk glass flower vase. And um, there are some, a few marks here, just there. And they're very tiny and it has a ruffled edge and then there's just a tiny mark right there. I did wash this and scrubbed it as much as I could. So <laughs> um, it is clean. Um, it's just those three little tiny marks. There's no chips or cracks. And it even has the original milk white anchor glass um, a sticker on the bottom. So as you can see, it's as big as my head. You could put long stem roses or whatever flowers and use this all um uh all year long because it's so uh versatile for whatever flowers so this is uh 25 dollars and it is number two 25 dollars number two and then i also have a uh per uh can't talk tonight <laughs> i also have a avon um gold rhinestone uh Gold Tone uh, Rhinestone Avon Solid Perfume Flower Bouquet in a Basket Locket Brooch. And what's cool about this, it's focusing. And uh, it has the Avon signage inside. You could put a picture in here or people are saying you put your pills or Katie said a jelly bean if you're hungry later <laughs> for a snack. And um, it's in uh, good condition. And it's uh, $25, number nine. $25, number nine for the brooch. And uh, I have this uh, white and red polka dot scarf. That's 38 and a half inches long and five and a half inches wide. And it's in excellent condition. You could wear it in your hair. And thank you, Gina Marie, for saying I could look good in a burlap bag as well <laughs> and uh, you can wear it in your ponytail or even tie this around your scarf or even um like a vintage suitcase that uh katie said earlier that would look great as well too so this is a uh, 15 dollars and it is number 11 15 dollars number 11 and i also have a set of two hankies handkerchiefs and it is this white and a mint green crochet trim handkerchief. The back of it, you can use it for your vignettes. And then I have a mint green and multicolored uh, floral embroidered handkerchief. There's just a little minor wear in the bottom in the back, but drape this however you want your vignettes. It's very pretty. And um, this is nine dollars and it is number four nine dollars number four and that was my last item okay so let me get both of, oh sorry that was not my last item <laughs> the director is putting me in check so <laughs> thank you patrick so <laughs> the other item i i forgot to show um or the piano music sheets. So you have Come On Over from 1924. Is that what mm -hmm. Patrick says? This, with this 20s girl. And this is in red. I love her. She's so 
um, fabulous. And then have jealous in the back and it has the piano sheet music. There is some age to it, but there's no rips in here. So you'll get this one. So it's a set of two. And then the other piano music sheet is so wonderful. It says the circus princess. And it's an orange and gray and white. And she has this wonderful dress and cape. And look at her headpiece, so wonderful. Draped in pearls. And it has some more music in the back, Countess Maritza. Um, and it has just age to it as well. This is from 1926. So you have uh, this song, Dear Eyes That Haunt Me, and you also have uh, another song in the back as well. It says Adela, A Little Mexican a Serenade. So these would look great a uh, frame. So this is orange and gray, and this is red and white. So if you junk journal with this, please don't tell me because <laughs> these are really lovely, but do whatever you want with it. And you'll get the set of these two um, for $20, number 15. So they're basically $10 each. Uh, oh. Book B Witch is asking she wants to come in over. Um, does someone want to split this, but do you want to? I mean, I don't mind splitting if you want. Just split it with Yeah. Time. So, um, Book Bewitch, do you want just to come on over? Uh, it's It'll be $10. And then if someone else wants this, the Circus Princess, um, for $10, uh, just uh, put uh, 15C, just so I know. <laughs> but um, just tell me, Book Bewitch, um, uh, just put in 15 and uh, put come on over um, so we know that. Okay, so you want number 15, come on over. Pat will write it down for me. Just uh, that piano music sheet. All right, and um, if anyone else wants a circus princess, just let me know. Let me get Katie back on the screen here. All right, so that was our joint live sale. I had so much fun with Katie. Thank you so much for joining me, Katie. Oh, absolutely. And I had a ball, Kim. You had some great things tonight. It was fun being with all of you in the chat as well. <laughs> so um, just to go over a few things, uh, please make sure if you purchase from us, I'm shipping from New Jersey and Katie's shipping from Florida. So if you purchase items from me, please make, um, and from Katie, so please make sure you email me at omvintage at gmail.com and email Katie, uh, katie at katiescreations1.com. Just as how it says uh, scrolling across the screen, you'll email us your YouTube name, your real name, uh, your shipping address, your PayPal email address, and uh, the items that you want. So please make sure you email us. It just helps us keep track of what you purchase because um, uh, sometimes we may not have your information um, and it, it makes it easier for us as well. Uh, also, um, so Katie, it, uh, do you want to let us know if you have any like future events or um, anything else that's coming up on your channel? If you want to let us know what's going on? Absolutely, Kim. So I will be having a special guest tomorrow live on my channel. I'm going to have Mid-Century Maven from Instagram. She's going to be showing some of her vintage jewelry on my show and tell at 930 Eastern tomorrow evening. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And if you love vintage jewelry and bringing back the brooch, you got to tune into that. So that is going to be awesome. And then, of course, I'm going to have my 4th of July uh, vintage premiere at 7 o'clock Eastern tomorrow. So two events on my channel coming up. Just a quick note, folks, I will not be getting out invoices until Saturday. So just be aware of that. I am shipping your items, but I will not send invoices out until Saturday. So don't get concerned. But if you do, you can always email me and uh, I'll get back to you soon. Wonderful. So excited for all those events, Katie. Um, uh, also, I'll be sending, I uh, just want to make some announcements as well. I'll be sending invoices uh, later this week as well. If you purchase from me, that's wonderful. Just make sure you email me all of your information. It really helped me out a lot. Um, 
I also want to announce that I will not have a live sale uh, next week, but I will have a live premiere video for my last unboxing of the mystery boxes. I know it's been a while. I haven't Yay. been able to get to it. So if you're new to my channel, uh, um, I won uh, the Just One More Docs and Fundraiser event that Patrick had on his channel. I won all the uh, 34 <laughs> mystery boxes and I will be doing my last unboxing uh, next week. Uh, it'll be a live premiere, so I will just be talking to you in the live chat. So I hope you all will be there. Uh, also, uh, I, and after that, uh, next week, I am taking the month of July off for vacation because your girl needs a break. <laughs> and it is my uh, birthday month. My birthday is on July 17th. So I will be going on vacation, um, finally visiting some family. So I'm just trying to take some time to spend with family as well as uh, take some time for uh, myself as well. But I will have a video scheduled um, uh, on those Tuesdays that I won't be going live for a live sale. And I will continue my live sales uh, at the beginning of August. <laughs> Just want to give you a brief catch up on that. And I'm also planning on doing uh, an Instagram story sale uh, on a Saturday when I come back uh, sometime in July. So I will be uploading videos still. So just make sure you're subscribed and keep the notifications. Um, uh, of my videos so uh so i'll still be here but i won't be doing a live sales because i really need a vacation <laughs> at this time. Was fabulous kim <laughs> and we hope you have a great vacation and a happy early birthday to you oh thank you so much katie so yeah so just make sure uh you're subscribed to uh katie uh, at vintage and vinyl on her youtube channel as well as on instagram and uh make sure you subscribe to me as well at oh my vintage on instagram and on my youtube channel as well so you can always be notified of all these fun events going on and i just want to thank again uh katie for uh doing this joint live sale with me you had awesome items and thank you for wearing pink in honor of me and i was wearing <laughs> red in honor for you it was <laughs> awesome kim and you looked so fabulous tonight i just was so honored to be on and it was a lot of fun went by too fast <laughs> <laughs> all right so um Please make sure you email both of us at this, uh, the email addresses one more time, scrolling across the screen. And we just want to thank you all so much for uh, joining us for a fun live sale. So um, thank you all so much, everyone. Have a great night. Bye, friends. Bye. <laughs>